The beginning of a new year was here, and it was time to make a decision about our 1979 VW bus named Poppy. As photographers and filmmakers, owning a vintage VW bus had been a dream, but it didn't take long to realize that owning a vintage bus was not going to be as simple as we had hoped. After numerous breakdowns and hours searching for quality parts, something needed to be done. After some research, we discovered a company in Colorado called The Modern Bay that designs, builds, and installs Subaru engine conversions tailor-made to vintage VW buses. We had found a pathway forward, but even loading Poppy on the trailer was harder than expected as her throttle cable was stuck. Together, okay? Let's go. But see, this would keep it from going backwards. But it would, if it rolled off, it would roll the whole way. Okay, yes, it is attached to the trailer. Let's see. So, this is another strap we're going to put on. This goes around the wheel. So, your wheels get like strapped down. All right. So, that should be on both sides. Yep. All right, so this, you'll see us uh, tightening around the tire, I hope. That was for effect, by the way. We got our safety chain here. See the safety chain here? Tighten. We have that one over there, and now we just got to put a safety chain on the back. I don't think that's too tight. And we have a safety chain back here. Oh, the engine's still hot. I almost wonder... Hey everybody, good morning. Well, we're loaded up, we're heading out. We got about, oh, about a five hour drive. It's gonna be uh, down some uh, pretty cool roads over some Western areas, beautiful. So early the next morning, our cars were packed, Poppy was securely on the trailer, and we journeyed down the long open roads. <laughs> on our way and for those of you who might be wondering what are we doing I'm gonna catch you up briefly so if you've been following any of our videos um, some of you may already know that Tim and I have a 1979 VW bus named Poppy like the wildflower she's great but we have had some issues um, with her engine and just breaking down and you know we've spent a couple years now trying to fix her and it's just it's just not really we're not where we want to be we are driving to Colorado Tim is in front of me and we're taking her to this great place it's gonna give her a brand new Subaru engine so what's really exciting about this for us is that you know part of our frustration is we really wanted a vintage VW bus but for those of you who have an old car you know that can be tricky and uh, we really want Poppy to be able to drive places with us. We want to have adventures without worrying that we're going to be breaking down. So we are getting Poppy a brand new Subaru engine. So thanks for coming on this journey with us. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to finally share it. It's she's not going to be done for a while because there's a waiting list. So we're driving her up there. We're getting her in the queue, but it's going to be a few months. So, anyways. Cheers guys, love ya, peace. I'm gonna keep driving. There's nothing like the beautiful open road stretching out before you to the horizon. This stretch of road on the upper part of New Mexico heading into Colorado is just open and expansive. 
I've spent many years on the road, I've toured the US five times, and I'm always grateful to be back on the road enjoying the beautiful scenery. We're getting there, we're in the middle of like nowhere. Beautiful mountains down that way, but uh, that's pretty far off. Bathroom break. Oops, something's <laughs> on the car. Okay. Mm. Water, hydrate. See you on the road, guys. I have the brake on in the in the gear. Yeah. It felt like we had wandered into a world filled with pure white. Everywhere you looked, the beauty of winter sparkled before us. As we traveled through these white winter forests, I felt the beauty of nature fill my heart. Gazing at these winter landscapes, I couldn't help but think, in just a short time, 
winter would be transformed into a world of pastel colors when spring begins to arrive. Wow. Look at these mountains. Snow and, and it's still so warm, like right before a snowstorm. So it's, yeah. it's warm, but it's going to get colder and the snow's going to come in and you're going to see it. We just uh, were talking about that because we had our jackets on and our scarves and we were so, <laughs> hot. so hot. But the thing is, it's supposed to start snowing this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to bring our layers, but now we're like, like we just got like our jackets tied around us because we were just like sweating. I know, but we're out here, we're filming more um, footage for the channels, for no more snow footage, and it's gonna snow, so we're gonna be busy and we're gonna love it. And you guys, I hope you enjoy it, but these mountains, man. These mountains are magical. There's there's yeah. actually, there's an energy in these mountains I wanna discover more of. Yeah. It's a happy energy, but there's also like a mystery to it. A mystery, yeah, just like a peacefulness, so. Mm -hmm. A real deep peace. Whew. Well, we're gonna keep climbing. <sighs> we're, we're about 9,000 feet and we're gonna keep going up. <laughs> yeah, we've just started really, so. Bye guys. Bye. I think it's hard to describe the peace you feel when you're out in the middle of this beautiful white snowy wonderland. There's a lot more wildlife than you'd think, especially when the sun comes out. We carry around a lot of really big lenses and it's heavy but it's always so worth it when you get that moment and you see the beautiful nature or snow covered trees and you can capture it to watch later. We just love being in the white snowy mountains. It's just another level of peace that um, really helps restore your mind, body, and soul. So it's funny when you're trying to film, it's like my hands started getting really cold, but then I can't use the camera. <laughs> so when you want to film, you're like, take off your mittens. Well, the snow's coming but down. The snow is coming in. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, we have to be careful because we're, we're way out in the wilderness and, you know, you never know when it's good. Yes, yeah, so we just don't know. You know, we have a hike back and we don't know at what point is it going to really start coming down. <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth. Okay, well, it's snowing now. There's <laughs> low clouds all around us. <laughs> no, no, I, oh, I see the avalanche. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right up there on the trail. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, I see. That. We heard there was an avalanche, and here it is. Uh, this avalanche is blocking the trail. Wow, look at this. Man. I guess it started to snow a little harder. So we decided. <laughs> I can't even see the camera. Whoa. <laughs> I can't even see the camera. We decided to turn around. Because it's doing a little more blizzard. Uh, have you seen Rudolph anywhere? I think we need Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see where you're going because the snow is going in our yeah. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> We're only like 10,000 feet up in the mountains. We hope you guys are watching this footage by your warm fire. Exactly. <laughs> Drinking a hot cup of snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hard to stop filming our batteries are about dead and yeah our cards are full and <laughs> our arms are tired we're just hoping tomorrow it snows like this again it's so it beautiful is. wow it's really beautiful well so different from when we first came i know came out all right guys happy you're with us Yay. we love mornings in the mountains watching the sun slowly rise as the moon dips behind, the leftover snow still falling as the sun lights everything up.
there's a magic in the mountains that I think gives you a new sense of energy at the same time a sense of peace. We hope in this video we share that with you and that you feel rejuvenated and a new sense of energy and peace. We just are so glad you're here. Here we are. Day two. Day two. Away. Oh my gosh, the snow is just so peaceful. Just, ah, the air is so good. So yesterday, you guys probably noticed, we brought this lens yep. and decided not to bring a big tripod. Kind of a mistake. Our footage, it's just so heavy. You can't always focus it right. And it's not always stable. So today we're not messing around, thanks to Tim. We've got nice stable footage for you all now. <laughs> but uh, it's so quiet out here. And there's just such a stillness to the snow, isn't there? Yeah, it's shifting all the time, changing all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, you just have to like, you're cold, but you just have to stand in mm -hmm. the moment. I think nature reminds us in the winter to slow down and just like be in the stillness. So. And drink hot chocolate. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna keep hiking. The next morning, the sun came out and it felt like a celebration to see the beautiful bright blue sky and feel the warmth of the sun. It felt like new life and new energy was breathed into your soul. So yesterday was snowing and today, hello, good morning, a new day. Look yeah, at the sun. bright and sunny. Oh, wow. We you are know, making our way up the mountain. Yeah, and literally we feel like we could be in a t-shirt. It's just like so warm and so yeah. beautiful. I know, it, you guys will see yesterday, we were like bundled up cold. to the max and cold and we had to finally like start running down the mountains because my feet were getting wet and cold. <laughs> and now today it's like the complete opposite. I, I just can't really, capture all this beauty to show you guys well enough I feel it's, I wish you were all here it's yeah it's powerful. hard to I mean we get what we can but I feel like yeah. I wish you could be here and smell the fresh air for a minute and the sun the, the warm sun yeah the warm sun and oh. there's there's no wind there's a nice little breeze but there's just no wind and just the snow peaks mm -hmm. oh and we can hear the river and the river mm. well we'll do our best to capture this you guys stay tuned mm -hmm. Love Bye you guys. guys.